I'm Alex Roggio, AKA Alex the Car Girl. When I'm not racing, I often work for my sponsors like Molly Aftermarket and Molly Motorsports. I'm amazed at what I learn both technically and about the automotive business. In this edition of Did You Know, my subject is Molly Original Piston Rings. I actually visited the Molly Piston Ring plant in St. John's, Michigan, and it was amazing. I run Molly Original Rings and Molly Motorsport Pistons in my 6.4 liter Hemi, so I was familiar with Molly Piston Rings, but not in the scale and complexity of Molly's business world. Did you know Molly is one of the largest piston ring manufacturers in the world? How about the fact that they are the original equipment ring supplier for 85% of vehicles made in North America? The plant I visited in St. John's makes about 6 million compression rings a month, and I'm not surprised based upon their market share. The whole manuf manufacturing process was amazing. Big coils of special SAE 9452 steel wire come in one end of the plant, and finished rings leave the other end. This wire is a very special high alloy carbon steel material that will withstand a million miles in a diesel engine and several hundred thousand in a gasoline engine. I found out that the SAE 9452 steel rings are 35% stronger than cast iron rings. With the very lightweight ring packs used at the OE level, this is a really big deal. Another really amazing process I saw at the plant was how they apply a Molly coating to the ring face. Molly, short for molybdenum, is a metal that has been used for ring face coating since the 1970s. I quickly learned that today's technology is far more advanced than the wire sprayed Molly used back then. The process Molly uses today is called HVOF, which stands for high velocity oxygen fuel. With HVOF, a partially melted stream of a patented metal and ceramic alloy containing molybdenum and other exotic materials travels to the ring face faster than the speed of sound. It was amazing to watch the process. The bond strength and density of the material, superior to any other Molly process, compares very well to rings with GNS, gas nitride steel, PVD, physical vapor deposition, and DLC, diamond-like coatings, with the HVOF advantage being better bore life than these other processes. I was also impressed that Molly Aftermarket and Molly Motorsports have already got these high-tech rings for sale. For drag racers like me, as well as circle track folks, both Molly groups offer a 1mm, 1mm, 2mm ring pack. The top ring is the steel HVOF that Molly calls HV385, and the second ring is 1mm steel Napier. The 2mm oil ring is available in different tensions depending on the oil sump system used in your engine. Even more impressive to me was the fact that the aftermarket group has already got the steel ring lineup in over 100 engine families covering 68% of vehicles sold in North America. These are, by the way, stock replacement applications. This is a great example of how dealing with a company like Molly with OE technology provides an advantage to us in the aftermarket. Thanks for tuning in. See you again soon in another Did You Know.